Hey guys, Remy here. And today I actually want to do a part two video. I did a video about 12 years ago about um, how to speed pick Paul Gilbert style. And that video actually showed you guys nothing because it was just me playing and not explaining anything. It was just, uh, I was just mentioning use your wrist, pick from the wrist, but there's a whole lot more to it actually. And today I want to see and do it for you guys on camera so you can see actually what's going on here. All right. So before I get into playing, I would like to ask you guys if you could subscribe to my channel, like the video, share it, whatever. So let's get to it. All right. Okay. So first I think it would be wisest to take the all the famous Paul Gilbert lick, the three note per string thing, where he does something like... Uh that kind of lick. Now, if you look at my right hand, you might think my whole hand is moving from the wrist. But the thing actually is, I saw this close up when Paul was playing some picking licks. I saw that actually his pinky was on the body of the guitar and it wasn't moving. It wasn't, the whole hand wasn't moving. So the main movement comes from, if I to like slow it down and you can see my, I keep my pinky on the body. The movement is more in the hand. It's, it's here somewhere. It gets this diamond shape and back. So if I play, let's see. I hope you guys can see what I mean. So it's not the entire hand because actually the more you move, the, the slower you get, right? So you have to be as economic as you can be, I think, as you can be. Uh, one thing also, uh, well, that's actually what I'm going to show you guys in the next lick, because this is just two notes, uh, two strings. So you can keep your hand in one position, right? When I go down to my A and E string or up to my B and E string, I have to move my hand around too. Why do I want to do that? Because I kind of want to maintain the same angle for the pick. And I think the cool lick to show you guys this is that uh, the one from, uh, or something like uh, technical difficulties where... You can see that my hand is actually moving downward. It's not staying in one position. If I do that, let's see what's going to happen. I'm, I'm, I'm actually like blocking my own wrist here. So you have to move that around a little bit. Uh, I hope this makes sense. One thing I also want to really want to mention is you want to be as relaxed as you can. If you're going to tense up, you're not going to make that uh, that run, you know. Uh, you want to be loose at all times. Uh, first, if you... Be, yeah. You don't want to go, you know. So, I hope this helps you guys. I'm going to take... A similar kind of pattern that Paul uh, plays, played a lot, I think. I, I don't actually think he plays it a lot anymore, but the lick is something like this. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay, so first thing first, I'm re really relaxed. My hand is not tensed up. The movement, where does the movement come from? It's not my entire hand that's moving. It's not doing this. That's gonna be very inefficient actually because the more you move, the slower you get. So what I actually do 
And this is something that I saw when I was sitting down with Paul, close up, like, okay, so what's really going on with his right hand, you know? His pinky was actually not moving. It was stuck on the body, I think, okay. at that uh, time. Somewhere tugged under the, uh, the pickup or the, uh, or the string. But as you can see, as I play it now, I'm not moving my entire hand. I'm just moving this part of my hand. Another famous Paul Gilbert lick is, I think is the one he plays in technical difficulties. The fast sixes. How does that work? Because now we're not like safe in one spot, right? We're not just picking two strings and moving up uh, slowly to the next set of strings. You have to move your right hand with the strings actually, with the, 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 the direction you're going. Why is that? You wanna kind of maintain the same pick angle, right? If I leave my hand in one position, I'm gonna be fine on the, the high E string and, and high E string and B string. But when I move down, the whole hand changes in order to like keep that same pick angle, right? I'm not talking about pick slanting. This is something uh, Troy Grady has on the internet and look him up, it's amazing stuff. Uh, this is just the angle of the pick. I want it to be like a 45 degree angle and I want that on my high E string as well as on my low E string. So let's see what's, what's happening. Once again, my pinky is stuck here. Shall I play the lick slow as well? It's uh... Now, actually, my pinky isn't moving at all. It's just here on the body. All right, let's move to another camera, the one here. What I'm doing, my pinky is like here on the guitar, right? Um, and I just move my hand up and down like that. Don't worry about access noise because when you're playing, you won't hear this, you know? So if I'm, I'm in a very awkward position here to play, but that sucked. So I'm gonna do it again. That was a bit better, but this is just to get the point across, right? So try to do that. Try to just move this part, be relaxed. You don't have to go that with your fingers all the time. Just do that. I hope this really helps you guys, all right? Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped. If you have any questions, just drop them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Furthermore, I want to thank Ibanez for hooking me up with the um, PGM333. This is a, actually a guitar that I should have shown in videos before, but I haven't yet because I've been playing their AZ series so much. And those are amazing too. Go check them out. I picked this one today because it's about the Paul Gilbert picking thing, you know, so. But it's an amazing guitar. Mahogany body, five piece neck, PG-13 mini humbuckers and a ebony fretboard, locking tuners, the whole deal. So if you like this video, please subscribe, please share and like the video. And I hope to see you guys soon again. All right, thank you.